In the last video, we looked at combat in Alien. This time, we're taking a look at the stealth mode. This game mode is when stalking and hidden movement occurs. In this mode, we have turns of 5 to 10 minutes versus rounds of 5 to 10 seconds that we saw in combat. In this scenario, Quang is sweeping a small part of a space station trying to determine the source of a biological alarm. In stealth mode, a human with a speed of 1 can move 2 zones in a turn. In this time, the character can look through the zone and get a basic idea of what is happening there. If they want to search it or interact with the terminal, the character will need to spend a turn or more doing so. This is determined by the game mother. Using something like a motion tracker doesn't slow that character down. Remember, a turn is 5 to 10 minutes. Using the tracker requires a power supply roll. To make the roll, we look at the power supply rating, which is 5, so we roll 5 stress dice. Each one rolled in the stress dice reduces the tracker's power by one point. So the power supply only goes down by one. When it reaches zero, the tracker stops working. That's basically how supply ratings work in the game. We only need to worry about these when it is relevant. When the outcome of running out of air or food or water or power will become exciting and affect the outcome of the game. Let's move on to the uh, GM side of things. There are two passive Xenos hidden in the station. These are only relevant if the PC comes into line of sight with them. Other than that, we have one active Xeno and it will begin to actively hunt Quang. Like we saw in combat, aliens have a speed of 2. They move twice as fast as a human. This means it will get to move 4 zone to Quang's 2. So now we move on to round 2 that the aliens finish moving. Quang continues through the station, searching for the biological alarm cause. When she's moved, she decides to use the tracker again. This time, her supply roll is with four dice. No ones were rolled, so her tracker's power level remains at four. Unfortunately for Quang, the tracker picks up a signal and it is close. Move back to the GM side of things. Zeno moves towards Quang. Quang is aware something has, is close, so she's not surprised. And that's the end of stealth mode. We have a combat to resolve, so now we drop into combat mode. If Quang had been unaware of the Zeno, the GM may have opted to give it the ability to try a sneak attack on Quang. If successful, the alien would have gotten a free slow or fast action at the start of combat. And that's pretty much all there is to stealth mode. Basically longer turns time-wise combined with hidden movement. And that's pretty much it. So a big thank you to all the new subscribers we've gotten in the last couple weeks. It's awesome to see the channel grow a little bit after I posted a few videos. If you uh, like the video, click like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. There'll be more videos coming soon. Don't forget to check out the blog at www.starshipsandsteel.com. And of course, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends. You guys have a great night and don't forget to keep it weird.